It's cold here. So Man. cold. What's what's the temperature, Bishop? Well, the temperature. Let me check. It is forty six degrees Fahrenheit, Davies. Forty six. Okay. Let's get out of here. This is too cold. Oh, my head's burning. That's so hot. Oh, how hot is it here, Bishop? Oh, let me check. It's forty degrees Celsius. Warm. Oh. Why is it? Hang on. What? 40. Yeah. 40 degrees Celsius. And the other one's 46. 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmer in Antarctica than it is here. Well, it's... Seems like it. Yeah. What it's... went wrong? I don't oh, know. hang on. Fahrenheit and Celsius. They're different. Oh, of course they are. Fahrenheit and Celsius. Oh, anyway, it's too hot to work this out oh. here. We better get back to Clarkson and sort this stuff out. Let's go. Oh, this is nice. Mm. Oh, lovely. Very nice, lovely air conditioning. But, but we're not going to get any work done here. No? We'll come back here in the holidays. Let's get back to Clarkson. Okay, let's go. Beautiful. Oh, here we are, back in Clarkson. Nice, air cons are on. Yeah, lovely. not a bad place Sorry. to be. Yeah, yeah. Pretty civilized, very nice. Yeah, excellent. Now, that problem we had. Yeah, we had a problem, didn't we? Yeah. That's all right. I've got a short yeah. memory, but now I remember there was a problem. We were freezing in. Antarctica, yep. which is 46 degrees. You were pretty cold, weren't we? Yeah, we were like freezing, but we were shivering. It was 46 shivering, degrees. Yeah, 46 yep. degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And yep. then we went to the desert, and it was pretty hot, but it was 40 degrees 40 less, degrees. but Celsius. Mm. So obviously those no. two, Celsius and Fahrenheit, aren't, they're not the same. No, they're not the same. Yeah. Okay. And we were doing some Googling, because we thought we'd just do a bit of Googling. Yep. And Fahrenheit comes from a German guy, comes from Germany. And it's based on brine, it's based on the freezing brine, salty brine water. salty water, the, yeah. the, the, the temperature at which a particular brine um, substance would freeze, which yep. was zero degrees Fahrenheit was minus 18 Celsius, which is funnily enough about when you put a fridge on, if you got an angry freezer, fridge, yep. freezer sorry, yeah. you'd freeze stuff to minus 18, so yep. that's, no, that's, no, it, that's no accident, and it happens then, to be zero degrees yeah, Celsius was, uh, was a Swedish, 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 man. Swedish Sweden yeah. that came from, yeah. Celsius, and, and that was based and on water, zero, yeah, freezing, freezing water, yeah. Yep. Sea level. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, at sea level, very yeah. important. We won't get into those technicalities, but that's sort of where we're at. So what we thought we'd do is we've been doing a lot of stuff on um, points of intersection of linear graphs, and both Fahrenheit and Celsius are linear equations, and here's the two formulas that are on the board. One on the right-hand side is for Fahrenheit, y equals 9 over 5x plus 32 from Celsius. So are you saying we put the Celsius number as the y? We're saying we put whatever, whatever the Celsius number is, we yeah. multiply the Celsius number by nine and five, and we add thirty-two to get oh, to so Fahrenheit. Yes. So that okay, that would be yep. so yes. forty degrees. That would be the forty. Forty. So it'd be nine okay. over five times forty plus thirty-two. And then the Fahrenheit. y would be answer in Fahrenheit. Answer in Fahrenheit. Perfect. And then over this side, it does get a little bit uh, confusing. Yep. Bear with us. This formula here, which I don't know if you can see, but it's y equals five over nine x take eighteen, and I might actually write it just over here just to ensure that we can see it. Y equals five ninths of x minus 18 is how you convert from Fahrenheit back into Celsius. Okay. Okay. And this, so- So the x of that, this x, one- That would be your Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. And yeah. then your y would be yes. Celsius answer. That's the Fahrenheit number goes in there. So if it's 100 degrees Fahrenheit, you'd whack 100 in here, you times 100 by five ninths and then minus 18, and that'll give you the Celsius yeah. number. Okay. Yeah. So when we're looking at this graph here, when we start plotting it, the y axis in this particular instance indicates the Fahrenheit readings and the Celsius indicates, sorry, the horizontal indicates the Celsius readings. So this is a temperature graph effectively. It's a Cartesian plane that we've been using for Fahrenheit versus Celsius to try and um, demonstrate the differences. And part of that is to show where they cross over because we've been yeah. doing stuff on Simultaneous point equations, of intersection. point of intersection, and we thought we'd explain to you why we have points of intersection, what the importance of it is, because we can just do some of these non-practical graphs all day long, mm. but people might say, yeah, but why are we really yeah, doing them? And the I reason is, why are we doing that? Man, What's going on, man? Why am I yeah, doing I'm this? I'm going to be a diesel mechanic. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, but you might need to know to be yeah. a diesel mechanic, and it's good to know where Fahrenheit and Celsius are equal to each other. So if you do go to, say, the United States where they use Fahrenheit, yeah. um, you might, they might be talking 
you know, 22 degrees, but that doesn't mean 22 degrees in a t-shirt in the sun. 22 degrees in the US means it's going to be oh, lower than just a, well, the front negative 22. 18 is yeah zero. Zero degrees the Fahrenheit. Degree. I imagine it's just a little bit above zero. Yeah, yeah. So it's 20, 20, well, 22, 32 degrees Fahrenheit would be zero. Yep. So 22 Fahrenheit would just be below zero. So right. it'd be quite cold. You saw a 22 for New York. You're oh, thinking happy days, yeah. 22. It's not actually 22. Yeah. yeah. All right. So shall we, how about we, what should we do first, Mr. Bishop, with this? Should be the first thing we do. Should we plot them? Well, it would what be nice think? if we could just put in a space of 20 degrees like we yeah, are Yeah, that's now. put in 20 degrees. So 20 so degrees in here. Get the calculator. Yep, yep. 22 uh, in the classroom. Uh-oh. I'll break the off and away all day rules and I'll get my phone out, Mr. Bishop. No, oh, no, there we go. Oh, terrible. I'll send you to the office. No, no, we'll yeah, get sorted in a minute. So, 20 degrees this Celsius. This one here, you say, this this is where you put the Celsius. Yes. And the answer will be Fahrenheit. For so, that particular equation. Yep. So I'm going to rewrite. It's about 20 degrees right now. Yep. Just got the aircon set. Fair 20. Actually, here. 22. I can see on the number. 22. Should we do 22? Let's, let's do 22. 22. So we're going to say Fahrenheit will equal 9 fifths. So you, you worked that out as a 9 zone. fifths. Yep. Yep. 9 Time, divided by 5 yep. equals. Yep. Times 22. Yep. Okay. Bim das. And then plus. 32. Plus 32. So you've got to do the math so, first. You've got to do, sorry, the, the, brackets, the, yeah. the, the brackets and the multiplying. So 9 divided by 5 gives you 1.8. Yep. So that's why you see in some graphs from Google it's just 1.8. 1.8. Yep. Yeah. It'll be 1.8. Yes. Yeah. So then 1.8 times 22. Yep. Equals 39.6. But hold on, there's more. Yeah. And now I just plus the 32 and I get. 71.6. So 22 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so F, the Fahrenheit for 22 degrees, how it is now is 71.6. So 71.6 degrees yeah, Fahrenheit. 71.6 degrees. So, so, if so you that's why we've got an air con on. 71.6 in here. But yeah, you know, that's like yeah. a, a very low oven. You could mm. like warm stuff up if it was Celsius. You could if it was so. Celsius, 71 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that would be yeah. theoretical, wouldn't it? You wouldn't want to be here. No. And uh, should we do it for this one? Should we do it? No, do it for this one. Now, if we put that in, it should come Why don't back. we convert it back and we use yes. this space here. I'll swap with you, Mr. Okay. Bishop. So this one here now, that X represents the Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit on this occasion. And the yeah. Y will give you the answer in Celsius. Celsius. Hopefully 22. So. Hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed. So five divided by nine, which we know is 1.8. Yep. But we're going to times 71.6. Yep. Because if we were in a US school, we'd, we'd say, probably be yep. learning put, about Celsius. Put your guns away, we're going to learn about Celsius. And then we minus 18. Excellent. And hopefully, this, here we go. 5 divided by 9. Oops, sorry. 5 divided by 9? Sorry, yeah. sorry, no, no. Let's stuff that up. 5 ninths? Not 9 ninths. divided by 5. That's 5 divided by 9. Oh, yeah. Because it's a lower proportion. Oh, yeah. It's the reciprocal. Five divided. I just learned that nine. this morning. Yep. So five divided there. by nine, multiplied it by. Equals zero point five 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 recurring. So you're better off to keep it, which yep. is why they use nine yeah. nine fifths and five. I was wondering why you say one point eight. But yeah. Now, it's because now, it's because that is more accurate. Yes. To keep it as a fraction is yeah. more accurate. So zero point five 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 recurring times seventy one point six. Equals thirty nine point seven 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 minus and minus eighteen equals equals well very close but you know how it calculate calculates only go so far of recurring numbers so my answer in Celsius was well the y equals twenty one point seven 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 eight seven so, recurring yeah. Point seven seven recurring, but with recurring and then changing back, yeah, that's pretty close. To Plus, if you think about temperature, you probably wouldn't, unless you were doing a scientific experiment. If you're talking about the daily temperature, you wouldn't probably get any decimals. You'd probably round yeah. up to twenty two. Yeah. Be, that would be the temperature. You're not going to necessarily yep. say that it's you know twenty one point seven in here because you'd round it to twenty two. Because no. yes. nobody could get that degree of accuracy yeah, yeah, here in, compar in comparison to the aircon. So that's okay. that, now. Now we know it makes sense. Yeah, brilliant. So that, that, that's that's Celsius, 
and Fahrenheit. There's two major forms of uh, temperature that we use in the world, or units to measure temperature, one's Fahrenheit, one's Celsius. There's also Kelvin, but we won't get into that, yep. and that's more scientific. But just Fahrenheit and Celsius, the US and its territories tend to use Fahrenheit, yeah. and then the rest of the world tends to use Celsius. The Davies, okay. I would like, let's a visual, we'll graph it and see how they we'll line intersect. up. Yeah. And then we'll try and do the intersect yeah. algebraically. Shall we? Yep. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Should we graph Fahrenheit first? Yes. This chubby up here. Okay. All right. What coloured marker would you like, Mr. Bishop? Uh, orange. There you go, sir. Excellent. Right. I'll just get some. We'll just keep hand sanitising during this. Yeah. Mr. Bishop, very, very important. So where do we want to start, Davies? I think we should start at the y intercept. The plus y thirty-two. Intercept. Because that's the bit we know. We have to ask ourselves, what do now, we know? Well, this is this is Fahrenheit. This is for Fahrenheit. So this, this, this graph will, dis, will display Fahrenheit. So plus 32. 32. It's on, on the y-axis, yeah, right, correct? So yep. So, so sure. here's yep. 30. So We've done notches of 30 here. You can probably see if you look in. So 30, 60, so obviously just above 30 and 45 in the middle. 32 is just going to be just yeah, a smidge just above a, it, isn't it? It's a very small smidge. You know, because that's 60, it goes up a lot. And what we're only using a sketch, of course, we have yep. a graph paper, we're not that posh. Yeah, something. Um, but there is, there is on Connect, there's some graph paper yeah. you can download yeah. if you're struggling. Thank you, Mr. Wallace. Yep, thank you, Mr. Wallace, for that. Okay, that's so I've got, I've got that. Yes. Now, what's the gradient? Because remember, this is still, oh, this so is still Y equals MX plus B. Now, we can go back into this. Mm. The gradient is, because we've got them in the in the right format this time. Yes, we have. Love now it. we also say gradient is rise. Yep. Am I right? Yep. Yep. Over run. Rise over the run. Yep. So it's in that nice. Yeah. It's packaged nicely. Nine over five. Rise nine one five. Rise yep. nine one five. So if I came across five. Yep. I would go up nine. Up nine. So what's thirty two plus nine, Mr. Bishop? Thirty two. Because we're at thirty two at the moment. Oh, plus plus, plus nine, nine would be forty one. Forty one. So we need to find the, the so roughly with halfway would be forty five. Yep. Thirty sixty, and then it'd be just below. So, so forty one would be there, and then we're running, we're running how many? Uh, five. Five. So this would be tough. Zero plus five is fifteen. Would be in the yeah, middle. Yeah, so about a third of that. So about a third of that. So we're kind of looking at mm. looking at five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30. Yep. Yeah, roughly. So, I mean, so uh, coming, coming across just five. Yeah. So just there. Like that. Yeah. All and right. then we might, yeah, most definitely. And we'd certainly, Three. Yeah. we could go now maybe another, if we added another nine to that. Yeah, make it more accurate. Make yeah. it a little bit more accurate by having three points because All we're right. dealing so with So we're at 41 plus yeah. another nine. 50. 50. So it would be. That'd be 40, 50. So that's my 50. Yep. And then five plus five will be the old 10. Be 10. Yep. So. Yeah, yeah I reckon. I mean, they, they line up, they which do. is good because this is linear, which is straight. So they're so both straight lines, both measurements for temperature. Yeah. yeah. So Celsius and Fahrenheit are straight lines. They're linear. Are we confident enough to- Yeah, I'm happy with that. I reckon that's really good. I reckon we can yeah, do that. Three, the more dots you do is better, we can, but we're trying to make it succinct. For, succinct and accurate for YouTube. No one wants to watch a 41 minute video of Davies and Bishop. That's right. Yeah. They probably do actually. Yeah, we've actually, we're hoping to get a few hits on YouTube. Yeah. Hand. All right. Excellent. So we've got that. So that's our graph for, I label it? for Fahrenheit. I reckon we could label it. I reckon we could say that that's degrees Fahrenheit, or degrees F or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, well, they F have a symbol, or, you know, I think, Celsius is a I think it's just F, F Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. I don't even think they put F. degrees Fahrenheit, they just say F. F, F yeah, Fahrenheit. So it's just a different sort of setup. So, what you can see here is that 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is yeah. where it crosses the y axis, is in it's fact, the what's the temperature? Celsius, zero. Zero degrees so Celsius. Okay. Now, water would start to freeze. If you had a cup of water outside and it's 32 yep. degrees Fahrenheit, it's, it's slowly, obviously. Yeah. But if of a, a period of time, it'd get a little ice cap on the top. It would do. Yeah. So if you went to say, you know, Chicago, yep, and they said it's going to be thirty-two tomorrow, yeah. do you get your sun cream and your hat out? I uh, know you. 
No? Your beanie on, mate. You get your beanie on and your jacket yeah. more so because you'd be a bit, you know, zero. It's not it's not freezing, freezing. It's yeah. not super cold, but it's certainly not warm enough to go to the beach, is it? Zero. Okay. All right. So we've got Fahrenheit. Um, are we happy with that at the moment? Yeah. I think yeah. Now we do Celsius. Let's see. Yeah, let's have a look at Celsius. And okay. what we'll do is we'll, we'll graph Celsius. So what would be, what's our y intercept here? If we're looking at this, what's our, what's our y intercept for Celsius? Well, the minus 18. Minus because as the y is mx plus b, the b, the b? is the y intercept. <coughs> is it Pardon me. Yes, it is. The b is the y intercept. So that's the y axis, negative 18. Negative 18. So it'd be down. Yeah, this is a nice one, just past halfway. Minus zero and Grab myself a purple yep. whiteboard marker, and I'm just that'd be like 15, um, 5, and 10, and then we're looking at sort of 20, 25. So 18 is kind of yep. gonna be there. I mean, the scales, yeah, we're using quite large numbers, and we have to because we're dealing with Fahrenheit yeah. as well, so it makes it quite difficult. All right, so we've got Celsius running through minus 18. Now, if we look here at the this bit, what's this bit of the equation again? That's that's the y-intercept, isn't it? Yep. It's rise over run. So the bottom one is your run, and your rise over the run. Top yep. one is your rise. Okay. So five happens to be the rise. The run happens to be nine. Okay. So if I were to start off at minus eighteen, if I add five to eighteen, then minus eighteen plus five, what am I going to have? Minus 18. Minus 18, and we go back five. Back five. We would get. So you're adding five, so you're getting closer to zero. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're minus 18 plus five. And we're in a different classroom today. We haven't got minus the Minus 13. Minus 13, okay. I like going it. back to yep. just zero, yeah. So minus 13 would be up here somewhere. If I put a little mark there, that minus 13, which is just yep. before 15. And then I'm running nine. So what would zero plus nine be? No. No, it's an so easy one. That's an easy one. It's fairly, we don't really have to collaborate much on that one. So the next dot would be there, I yeah, reckon, okay. because that's 5, 10, and it's just prior to yeah, 10. Yeah, with that. Let's give it yep. another dot. Though. Yep, another one. So, what is it? 13, weren't we? 13. Uh, so we take off another 5. Yeah, add, add another 5. Add another 5, because we're at minus, minus 13, 13. So we're down here. Minus 13 plus 5. It's going to be 8. Eight. It is minus eight. eight. Sorry. Minus eight. Yeah, minus eight. Minus eight. Minus eight. Because yeah. you're minus thirteen. Yeah. Minus twelve. Minus eleven. Minus ten. Minus nine. Minus eight. Okay. So we're at minus eight, which is just, just the, well, probably oh, minus ten. Yeah. There? Minus ten's there. Minus five's there. But it's not. It's not minus seven and a half. It's minus eight. So it's sort yeah. of in that kind of position. And then we're going to go across nine. Nine. So nine plus nine. Eighteen. Yes, eighteen. Okay. So we're looking at five, ten, fifteen, eighteen. It's going to be here somewhere, so we're probably like that. Would that be right, Mr. Yeah. Am I not swimming outside the flags? Is that pretty? No, I'm happy pretty with accurate. That. If I give you the the baton, and we'll grab the ruler and yep. we'll do a, and we'll have a look and see where they come climbing into each other. Hold steady. Okay. Right. All right. Check that out. So. Awesome. Out of the neighbors. Yeah, that's degrees Celsius. Yep. So these temperature figures here, it's using the same scale. They're both linear. Fahrenheit runs steeper than Celsius does. Yeah, you see that. That's because yes. I think we did the swap around, isn't it? Yeah, the old five switcheroo. Minutes, and here we have five nights. So the rise yes. of the run did a swap. So. And we were discussing it earlier, and we said that for every degree Celsius you go up, you yep. go up in the Fahrenheit scale is 1.8. Yeah, well that's, yeah, nine divided by five, 1.8. Which is why this is steeper than yeah. this one. So a unit of Celsius yeah. is a bigger unit of temperature of measurement than Fahrenheit. You've got more Fahrenheits for the same number yeah. of Celsius. So we had an oven in Fahrenheit, and yeah. I said, crank it up another 10 degrees, Davies. Yeah, crank it. It's not gonna be as much no. as if I had a Celsius oven and I, and I said, said crank, crank it, it up 10 degrees. 10 degrees. That's right. right. Yeah, because yeah. 10 yeah. degrees in Celsius like is worth more. more Celsius. It is yeah. worth more, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like an exchange, it's like currency in the bank. Yeah. So we've got Fahrenheit and we've got Celsius. Now, I remember there's, there's always an enduring, there's often a question that people might ask each other that, and I've thought about this and maybe it's just me, where do Celsius and Fahrenheit cross over? At yeah. what point are they the same temperature? So if you say, 
a temperature in Fahrenheit and a temperature in Celsius, but it actually converts out to be. Yeah, the same. when you see it like this, you realize they're not parallel. They no, do meet. Because okay. Celsius and there is, is a Kelvin. point there, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. That's, that's the point. point where Celsius. There's some point in the world, obviously, it looks pretty chilly. Very cold place. Yeah, North Americans and you know Australians would feel the same. It's what temp degree is it? And 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 the actual temperature, it's just the actual reading would read out the same on a Fahrenheit and Celsius monitor yep. temperature gauge at that at that particular temperature. So there's a couple of ways we could work it out. We could kind of we could kind of do that and kind of do a bit of a yeah estimation, couldn't we? Without well, that gives us, yeah, give us guesstimation then if we do the actual yes so we need this way we'd know whether we're right probably need because i i'm a bit our graphs we're not using graph paper it's not that accurate i mean maybe they cross over here maybe they cross over here maybe we've been yeah. a bit inaccurate in the way we've done it so what we could do is why don't we do some maths and we'll do the substitution method Yep, and we'll do some Mexican border jumping and whatnot. Okay, to ascertain. Sounds, sounds good. So where they cross over? As a guess, I'm thinking that's minus thirty. That'd be minus forty-five. Fifty-five. Minus yeah. fifty-five. Maybe minus fifty-five. We're that's, thinking. But that's you know my graph. It's kind of we're, we're, we're kind of there's a bell again. There's yeah we're kind of out of it because we're not we're not that accurate. Yeah. We're not using graph paper. Um, we're sort of our scale isn't really quite up to scratch. So yeah. if you were using graph paper, you could probably predict it quite accurately. Yeah, accurately. But, but from our graph, roughly minus fifty-five. But that's uh, I think I know the answer. But yeah, that, that ain't it. It's but not it's, that answer. But yeah. we'll use that but for now. But we're going to find out the actual point. I know. Yeah. Just everybody, hang on to their hats. Yeah. Everyone, just take a breath. But we're going to find out the exact point that they cross over. Okay, yep. let's do that, that map, shall we? Cool. Okay, how do we do that, Mr. Bishop? 